Yeah. Lucille, darling? Julie. Huh? I've been trying desperately to reach you. Bill just got back. A day early, the beast. So I'm afraid I'll have to beg off. You'll explain to the rest of the girls. Lucille, you're a darling. Maybe we can have a long lunch tomorrow. I'll phone you in the morning. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say. And you will manage to survive without me tonight. Sure. I might even take a wild, boyish fling at righty. Good night. Good night. Now you got yourself stuffed, huh, Polly, baby? <laughs> That's your right big mouth. Buongiorno. Huh? Aren't you drinking? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You got pockets there or something? <laughs> what do you go by? Hmm? What's your name? What's your name? What do you call yourself? Irving. Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect. That's wonderful, Irving. Have it right back, Irving, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, kid's still in the shower. You expected? I was invited? Is that what you mean? Oh, now, don't get yourself all tense and soft, pal. Come on in. It's a party. There's a lot of characters coming around here that are not expected. Now, I'll buy a drink. You drink? Yeah. Now, I'll buy a drink. Okay. Yeah. Hey, honey, you're a set split, then. What do you drink, kid? Bourbon. Bourbon? Mm hmm On the rocks? Yeah. Good. No, with water. All right, you want rocks first, don't you? Uh, yeah. Good, you got it. Not too much. All right. Yeah, that'll set you free. <laughs> you got a kid long? Not very. I live upstairs. You're kidding. Oh, look at this place, will you? What a place. It's unbelievable. What a dump. Hmm? Huh. What do you think? About what? Is she or isn't she? Wait a minute. Hold it down. Hi, Hi, Jay -Z. Jay -Z. Oh, John. What is that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hello. You know Gil? Yeah. How are how you? Are you? Good to see how about you? a drink? Fine. In the kitchen. You'll find everything you need. Thanks. Yeah. So. Oh, honey, that is you. That is you. Fred, darling, I'm so glad you could come. I brought you a house present. <coughs> Something in the book. Oh, you're yes, sweet. Doesn't that look nice? Give me a cigarette, O.J. Sure, sure. O.J.'s a great agent. He knows a terrific lot of phone numbers. What's Jerry Wall's phone number, O.J.? Oh, come on, lay off. Darling, man. I want you to call him and tell him what a genius Fred is. Yes, I got it. Stop blushing, Fred. You didn't say you were a genius. I did. Quit stalling, O.J. Just tell me what you're going to do to make Fred rich and famous. Now, why don't you let Fred baby me settle that matter, huh, puppy? Okay, but just remember, I'm the agent. He's already got a decorator. I'm the agent. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. All right, uh, boys, come on in there. Right in the kitchen, you find everything you need. So, listen, Fred baby. What do you no, think? it's Paul baby. Oh, it is? Yeah. I thought it was Fred baby. No. Well, answer the question, though. Is she or isn't she? Is she or isn't she what? A pony. I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so, huh? Well, <laughs> you're wrong. She is. Uh, but on the other hand, you're right. Because she's a real phony. You know why? Because she honestly believes all this phony junk that she believes. I mean it. Now, look, I like the kid. I mean, I, I sincerely like the kid. I do. I mean, I'm sensitive. That's why. I mean, you got to be sensitive to like the kid. You know what I mean? It's a, what you call a, a touch, a streak of the poet. You know what I mean? Yeah. You known her long? Are you kidding? I'm the guy that discovered him, O.J. Berman. A couple of years ago, back in the coast, then, she was just a kid. And of course, she had a lot of style, a lot of class, you know. A lot of what? Class, yeah, she had a lot of class. But, uh, of course, when she opened her mouth, you didn't know what she was talking about. She was a hillbilly Renoki. You know how long it took me to smooth out that accent? No. I'll tell you how long. One year. You know how we did it? <laughs> uh, we give her French lessons. Yeah, I figured once she could imitate French, she had no trouble uh, imitating English. And uh, finally, when I thought she was be ready, I arranged for a little screen test. Well, the night before the screen test, well, I could have killed myself. The night before the screen test, uh, the phone rings. I pick it up. I said, O.J. speaking. She says, this is Holly. I says, Holly, Holly, you sound so far away, honey. What's with you? She says, I'm in New York. I said, what kind of New York? You got a screen test tomorrow. She says, I'm in New York because I've never been in New York before. I said, get yourself on the plane. Get back here. She says, I don't want it. I said, what do you mean you don't want it? What do you want? She says, I don't want it. I said, what do you want? She says, when I find out what I want, I'm going to let you know. Bang. So, look, Fred, baby, you know, don't tell it's me... It's Paul, baby. Paul, baby, sure. Yeah. I mean, don't tell me that she isn't a phony, you know what I mean? Irving. Funny, Irving, where you been? Great, thanks. Mike, uh, darling, I tried reaching you all day long. Oh, but you're answering so, but doesn't answer. Well, you know the trouble people have with answering. Well, I guess so. Say, I saw your mother 
She brought with her. She's all right, I suppose, if you like dark, handsome, rich looking men with passionate natures and too many teeth. I don't mean that one, I mean the other one. The other one? It's Rusty Trawler. Hmm? Rusty Trawler. He happens to be the ninth richest man in America under 50. Now, that indeed is a remarkable piece of information to have at your fingertips. I keep track of these things. Excuse me, you owe me Hold 40 minutes for me, will you, darling? Oh, it was so romantic. <laughs> Mag, darling, what are you doing here? Honey, I was upstairs working with Yunioshi. Easter stuff for the bazaar. Then these two nice boys came to pick me up. It was a mistake, of course. My wires got crossed somewhere. They were both very sweet about it. Now I present Jose Silva Perriera. He's from Brazil. The Miss Golightly. Very kind of you, Miss Golightly, to allow me to attend your party. I'm so interested in North American culture. I've been already, of course, to the Statue of Liberty and to the Restaurant Automatic. But this is the first time I'm in a typical North American home. Mm, it is just the nail in your mouth. <laughs> and this is Mr. Rusty Trawler, Miss Golata. <laughs> You're not vexed at me for bringing them. Of course not, darling. I'm glad. Now, who's gonna bring me up a bourbon? OJ. Yeah. Oh, Would yeah. you get Miss Wildwood a drink? Yeah, which one's Miss Wildwood? Mr. Yeah. Burma. Oh. We have been formally introduced, but Oh, Mag Wildwood from Wildwood, Arkansas. That's hill country. Now, you just make yourself right at home, senor. Oh, do not trouble yourself. I'm contented to stand observing the customs of your country. OK, you do that. Now, come along, Mr. Trawler. Let's see what we can find to amuse you with. <gasps> You would pick me up, and at the last minute, I had Gil calling. Look, I wasn't supposed to pick you up here or anything. Yes. Miss Golightly, this time I'm warning you. I am definitely this time going to call in the police. Good evening. Is it something important? Nah, just the guy upstairs complaining about the noise. He's angry. Well, he did mention something about calling the police. Oh, the police. The police. Oh, that I cannot have. I'd better look for Miss Wildwood and go. You <laughs> think I'd find a bore man mousing after a piece of cheap Hollywood trap? Mag, darling, you're being a bore. Shut up! You. You know what's gonna happen to you? I am gonna march you over to the zoo and feed you to the yak. As soon as I finish this trip. <laughs> <laughs> 